Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can add check marks into Microsoft Excel. So we're going to take a look at 15 different ways that I found that you can do this, and some of them are a little bit creative and maybe not as useful, but they'll give you some other ideas about things you might be able to do in Excel. So let's check them out. The first method we're going to take a look at is inserting a symbol. So if we head up to the insert tab, we can find the symbols options here over on the right. And when we click on that, that's going to open up this dialog box. And there's a whole load of symbols here that you can scroll through, but you're not going to be able to find a check mark in here. What you actually need to do is up here, there's an option for font. And right now it's selected on normal text. What we need to do is head over to uh, Wingdings, select that, and then now if we scroll to the bottom of our symbols, we have a check mark and a check mark in a box. So we can select either of those and then click on the insert button and then close and press enter, and we now have a check mark in Excel. Now you'll notice that up in the formula bar, it's not actually a check mark character here. So we have a character and it's formatted as a check mark via the Wingdings font. So if we want a check mark character and then some regular text, then we're going to need to partially format this so that it doesn't all show as Wingdings. So we can select that part of the text that we want as normal text in the formula bar, go up to the home tab and just select some other font. So let's try Calibri and press enter. And there we have our formatted character that appears as a check mark. And then the rest of it, it appears as regular text. The next method we're going to take a look at is a keyboard shortcut. So if we hold the Alt key and on a numeric keypad, we press 0, 252, and then release the Alt key. That's going to insert a character. And this character, we can format the font as Wingdings and then get a check mark. So we can go up to the Home tab and let's change the font to Wingdings. And here we have our check mark. Now let's try Alt and 0, 2, 5, 4, and then release Alt. And again, up in the Home tab, let's change this to Wingdings. And that's going to give us the check mark in a box. So those are the two keyboard shortcuts for the symbols that you can enter in Excel. Alt 0252 and Alt 0254 but you are going to need to format the font as Wingdings after, so it doesn't automatically do that with the keyboard shortcut. The next method we're going to take a look at is using an Excel function to create check marks. So we have the character function, and that's going to allow us to take a numeric value and convert it into a character, the corresponding character. So we can use the character function that takes the one argument, which is a number, and then it returns the corresponding character. And I'm just going to copy and paste this down. And the two codes that we need to give this character function is 252 and 254. And it's going to return these two characters. And again, we can go up to the Home tab and, font, and change the font as Wingdings. And that's going to give us our two check mark symbols. The next method we're going to take a look at is using the unicharacter function. So this is exactly like the character function. It's just going to allow us to return a greater uh, variety of characters. So let's try it out. And again, it takes just one argument, which is a number. And then it's going to return the corresponding character for that number. Let's copy and paste down this formula. And you can see that we've got a variety of different check marks here. 
So the codes that you can use with the unit character function to return a check mark is 9745, 9989, and 10,003, and 10,004. And notice these are actually check mark characters, so we don't need to format the font to anything different. It's just going to display as a check mark already. The next method we're going to take a look at for adding check marks in Excel is using bullet point check marks. So in Excel, we don't really have bullet points except in the text box shape. So we can add a text box shape first. Let's go to the insert tab. And under shapes, we have this text box shape here. And we can click and drag to draw a text box. And once we have our text box, we can right click on it and we have the option for bullets. And we can choose check mark bullets here. And then each item we add into our check mark bullet point list, we'll get a check mark next to it. So that's how we can use bullet points in Excel with check marks. The next method we're going to take a look at is just simple copy and paste. So if you open up your favorite web browser and go to your favorite search engine and search the term check mark, then you're going to find a character that you can copy and paste into Excel. So here's a check mark character on the web. Let's copy that and paste it into Excel. And there we have a check mark character. The next method we're going to take a look at is using the autocorrect feature to create a shortcut that's going to automatically replace a given bit of text with a check mark. So to set that up, we can go to the file tab and open up Excel options. And in the Excel options menu, let's go to proofing. And here we'll find autocorrect options. Now in the autocorrect menu, we have a section here, and this is the text that Excel is going to replace. And then we have this with section here, and that's what Excel is going to replace it with. So this is where we're going to paste in our favorite check mark icon. And now we just have to choose what we're going to replace when we type it. So we want to pick something that we're not actually going to use in any real situation and that we're always going to want to replace with a check mark. So something like CHCK, we're not actually going to use that in any real situation and we're always going to want to replace that with the check mark. And that's going to allow us to actually use the word check without it being replaced. So let's click on add and we're going to add that autocorrect rule and press OK and OK in our Excel options. And now if we type out that and press enter, we're going to get our check mark icon automatically. The next method we're going to take a look at is using the emoji keyboard. So if you are on Windows and you have a dedicated Windows key on your keyboard, you can use this keyboard shortcut to open up the emoji keyboard. So hold the Windows key and press period, and that's going to open up the emoji keyboard. Now you can search around for a check mark, but it's easier if you just type out check and that's going to refine the available emojis down to the check marks and you can insert your favorite one. And there we go. We have an emoji check mark character in Excel now. The next method we're going to take a look at is drawing our own check mark. So Excel has a lot of drawing tools here up in the draw tab. And we can select one of these pen drawing tools. And if we come down to the grid, that's going to allow us to draw an object in the Excel sheet. And once we're done, we can move and drag and drop and resize this just like any other object in Excel. The next method we're going to take a look at is using a shape in Excel to create something that looks like a check mark. So if we go to the insert tab and shapes, you'll look around here and not actually see a check mark, but we do have a shape that kind of looks like a check mark. So we have the L shape. Let's try that out. 
and we can draw kind of a check mark here. And now if we give it a little rotation, then that's going to look exactly like a check mark. Now we can select it, go to the shape format tab and even give it a bit of style. So maybe we want a green check mark or whatever color you, you want, you can come up here and get. The next option we're going to take a look at is using a 3D model check mark. So up here in the insert tab, we have this option here, 3D models. Let's check that out. So we're going to use the stock 3D models. And then up here in the search bar, we are just going to search for check mark. And that's going to give us this option here. Let's select it and click on the insert button. And it's going to insert a 3D model of a check mark. And here you can use this little icon in the middle here to drag around our check mark and use its 3D effect. The next option we're going to take a look at is using icons. So this is a pretty new feature to Microsoft 365. If we go up to the insert tab and icons, Excel and PowerPoint and Word all now come with these stock icons. And here we can search for a check mark. And we're going to have a couple different options here. So here we have a light and heavy check mark. And then we also have a check mark in a box. Let's insert those. And again, if you want to, you can select one of these, go up to the graphic format tab and change the fill here. So maybe we want a green check mark. And of course, you can also resize these as well. The next option we're going to take a look at is inserting a picture of a check mark. So back up in the insert tab, we have the option to insert pictures. We're going to insert a picture from this device. So we've I've already got a check mark handy. Let's go to our downloads. And here's our check mark image. Let's insert that. And let's maybe resize this. It's a little big. And there's our picture of a check mark. The next option we're going to take a look at is adding a screenshot of a check mark. So maybe you have a check mark that's in a PDF and you can't extract that, or it's an image on a website and you can't download it, then you can at least take a screenshot of it. So let's go to the insert tab and there's an option for screenshots. Let's go to screen clipping. And that's going to allow us to click and drag an area that we want to clip. And then it's going to add that into Excel. The last method we're going to use to insert a check mark in Excel is using math equations. So we're going to insert a root symbol and that kind of looks like a check mark. So let's go up to the insert tab and over here we have equations. Let's use that. Here's our equation object. And then up in the equation tab, we're going to select our radical sign or square root sign and insert that. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And then we are going to go to the home tab and also increase the font size to make that a little bit bigger. And there we go. We have something that kind of looks like a check mark. So there you have it. That's 15 ways that you can insert a check mark into Microsoft Excel. So whatever your requirements are, there's sure to be a method that will fit those. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and we'll see you in the next video.